Hey there, my friend. This is Philip Blackett here from Magnetic Interviewing, and welcome to a new episode of Interview FAQs, your one-stop shop to learn how to best approach some of the most commonly asked interview questions, whether you're interviewing for college, graduate school, jobs, or summer internships. Now, in this episode, we're going to talk about the question, so why are you looking for a new job? And that question, honestly, can lead people down multiple paths. And sometimes may not be the best path when it comes to answering the question. Because here's the thing. Not everyone looks for a new job for the same reasons. Maybe somebody wants a new challenge or a new position. Maybe someone wants to tackle a new industry or focus area and have a new learning curve to scale. Maybe you're relocating and you're looking to see what else is out there that's relevant to what you're looking for. Maybe you're changing careers. Or even you're dissatisfied with your current job and looking for something different. Or even just the fact that you're unemployed and you want to be employed and make some money for you and your family again. Whatever the reason is, it's best just to be straight up honest with the interviewer. Um, you don't want to start any white lies or anything that may compromise your whole and in, your integrity and your reasoning for applying for the job. Both of which can compromise whether or not you get the job in, to begin with. Now, while answering that question, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. One, if you happen to be dissatisfied at your current job and you want something different, be careful not to put down your current company or another company in general, for that matter. The second thing to consider, you don't want to position yourself, even if you really, really need a job and you really, really need money right now, you don't want to position yourself as being too desperate or too needy. What I like to say is confidence is key. Even in the sense that if I really, really want something and I need it, you want to be able to present yourself with a certain sense of confidence in yourself and believing that the confidence will help carry the day and that the interviewer will appreciate that confidence, that, that gentle, like reassured confidence, not like boistering, not bragging, not being arrogant, but just a quiet confidence about you. At least that's what works for me. Maybe it works for you as well. And then finally, be able to show or demonstrate the type of value you want to add to that employer or to that company from the get-go, if employed. Because that way, people get past whether or not you want to really get this job maybe for the paycheck or maybe because of the prestige or maybe because of the perks, like those three Ps, I should say. But maybe because you really do want to have an impact. You really do want to help a company out or you really do want to grow in your expertise or in your training or your education um, be able to be honest about that while at the same time not coming off as you know better than the other company as far as putting down the un another company two not coming off as too needy or desperate and then three you know not coming off as somebody that is not willing to put in the work and bring something to the table that has a win-win situation for both you and for the employer as well. So hopefully if you keep those things in mind when you're answering this question, you'll find out exactly what's the best way to approach it and to ace that question. So with that being said, I'm gonna sign off from here. Hopefully you've got some value out of this question video. And if you did and you wanna stay tuned for more interview FAQs, head on over to www.interviewfaqs.net. There you can subscribe for free and be able to access all the interview FAQ videos and audios if you want. You can also search for them on iTunes as well. If you want to download them, listen to them wherever you go, whether it's working out in the gym, studying, or driving from work or back home or whatever. So on top of that, if you're looking for further interview prep, head on over to www.magneticinterviewing.com. There you'll be able to sign up for our free seven video, How to Ace Your Interview Bootcamp for free, like I said before. But you can only do that when you head on over to www.magneticinterviewing.com. With that being said, this is Philip Blackett from Magnetic Interview and signing off. Thank you so much for watching and listening in and tune in for the next episode. All right. See you later.